We just bought a boxable. It is a 375 square foot tiny home that takes just under an hour to set up and costs only $250 a month. Nice. You guys, I am so excited to share all of the details of this new housing solution with you. The fact that you can even become a homeowner for $250 a month is practically unheard of, especially in this housing market. That's heresy, my friend. This is the housing of the future. It is brand new. We are getting into it even before they've officially released the product to the public. It's Elon Musk approved, and we are going to get into all the details in today's video, so make sure you keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Arena. I'm a real estate agent in Oregon and on my channel, we talk all things real estate. We cover topics ranging from housing market updates to the detailed process of how to buy a house to daily vlogs, just my day in the life as a real estate agent. So if you're interested in that type of content, definitely consider subscribing and join me weekly for new videos. Now with the average US mortgage payment sitting at around 1067 a month and in most major cities, people are actually paying significantly more than that, people have just been searching for a more affordable housing solution, especially with this a crazy, crazy market that we've been seeing. There's a housing shortage, tons of buyers, not enough homes for sale. And so people are just dying for a solution, for an affordable solution to this housing issue that we've been noticing. Now with the boxable casita, like I said early on in the video, this is the housing of the future. This tiny home is groundbreaking. It's monumental. It's so exciting to really be catching it at the very beginning stages of the process. Uh, it will only cost you $250 a month to be a homeowner. $250 a month, if we compare that to the US average monthly mortgage payment, which is 1,067, if you're comparing that to $250 a month, I feel like I just, I, I need to emphasize that because that is insane. That is incredibly affordable and groundbreaking for so many people that otherwise would be renters, uh, would not be able to get a home loan, would not be able to finance a home purchase. This is really gonna make so many people homeowners that otherwise wouldn't be able to, to do that. I'm just really excited about this. I think it's phenomenal and I can't wait to share more details about this with you guys. And I'm gonna make sure to leave a link in the description box down below. So if you guys are interested in reserving or ordering a boxable casita for yourself, that link is gonna take you right to the page that you need in order to do that. So you know what, let's just go over the details of the casita home this is their original model the first one that they're coming out with the 375 square foot tiny house that's the first model they are going to come out with larger units in the future they're also I'm going to show you a video about how they actually take these units these modules as they call them and they stack them to create two-story homes it's very very cool so let's go over the details all right so this is their home page right here Boxable, the Casita right here. Uh, Boxable is the company itself and the Casita is their original model. So if we look right here, this is the house. I mean, it looks it looks awesome. Honestly, it looks great. If if you're if you live by yourself or even with just one other person, this is perfect. So you walk in right over here. We see our little door right here. You step in and on your, I have to like position myself, on your left you have a nice little kitchen. Now let's see, the kitchen has a large fridge, this is a full size fridge. It has a double sink with a view, it's got windows uh, over the sink. It has an oven, a dishwasher, microwave and shaker cabinetry. If you're not sure what I mean by shaker cabinetry, I'll put a picture up on the screen. So that's awesome. It, it's really cool how, so they have the counters here and then it kind of flows into this dining space with these two chairs here. It's perfect. Now we come into the bathroom, which has a deep shower and tub, a vessel sink. So it's like whoosh, deep. And it has a large counter, a backlit mirror. Looks very cool. And a sliding barn door, sliding glass barn door. So awesome, that's the bathroom right here. Now if we make it out of the bathroom into, let's go back uh, over here where, where my arrow is, uh, the living space. Now it's 19 by five feet, <laughs> sorry, it's 19.5 feet by 19.5 feet. Uh, the unit itself is 375 square feet as I had mentioned before. It has nine foot six inch ceilings, awesome. Eight inch huge doors and windows which is 
Awesome, very, very awesome. If we look at the living space here, we have a window right here, uh, plenty of space for the couch. It has a rug, little coffee table here, and this is a TV. If I'm not mistaken, the TV is a TV and a mirror back to back and you can flip it you can turn it around so you can watch tv in bed so we have the bedroom here is a queen size bed i believe so with this in this bedroom you can flip the tv so it's not facing the living room it's actually facing you in your bed and yeah i mean what else do you really need it has let's so let's go back here it has a wide plank composite flooring built-in ironing center, a washer and dryer, and heating and air conditioning. And it has really low utility bills, so it says insulation technology and included LED lighting saves you money every day on your utilities. Amazing. I also wanna show you guys a screen recording of a portion of their website that shows you how in the future you're going to be able to stack these modules to create really just any custom home that you can imagine. I feel like in the future this is really going to be used to build out large subdivisions. I mean the possibilities are endless so let's scroll down here. So it already started going. Look at that and then three stories. They can add a roof. I mean just look at that. That's so cool. It says here, instead of the classic lumber, hammer, and nails construction method, the casitas are built using steel, concrete, foam insulation, and laminated paneling. So these tiny homes are strong enough to withstand hurricane winds, mold resistant, and flood and snow tolerant. So they should be able to work in multiple different climates. The demand for housing is so incredibly massive, there's shortages everywhere and no one can build fast enough. It's great for us to know that so many people are interested in the product and really, there are. Okay, so the Casita is going to start at $49,500, which you can pay up front where you can set up financing to where you can be able to pay monthly. It would work like a typical 30-year mortgage and Boxable is gonna have their own lending institutions, their own loan officers that they will connect customers with in order to set up that payment plan. An article by Insider, the one that we were just looking at, states that almost all of the Casita's finishes, such as the kitchen, bathroom, electrical, plumbing, and HVAC are completed in the factory before it's shipped out. Now again, once it's on site, it takes about an hour for the boxable casita to be set up, which compared to the typical seven months that it takes to build a single family home, just a regular house, is really great because again, with this, with this housing shortage that we're experiencing, if we can just knock out a bunch of homes in <laughs> under an hour, which they said in their warehouse, it took them a little under an hour, that is a huge discrepancy, one hour and seven months. So that could really be the solution to our housing shortage that we're looking for. Now, of course, it's important to note that you do need land to put this boxable on. That's a separate cost that you're going to have to deal with prior to ordering your casita. There's also the cost to set up and install the home and Boxable says that they will provide people with certified and state licensed installers in their areas in order to make that happen. Now, aside from the cost of the land and site setup, there are also utility hookups, foundation, landscaping permits, and more. So it's important to remember that for $50,000, for almost $50,000, you just get the Boxable, the Casita itself but you have to think about the land, the setup, all of those things that I just listed, that is an additional cost separate from the casita that you really have to take into consideration. Now, if you wrap all of these costs into your monthly payment, Boxable says that your monthly payment would likely be somewhere between $250 and $500, which is still significantly lower than the average US monthly mortgage payment. I'm going to include a screen recording of exactly how we ordered our Boxable, how we reserved it and put down our deposit. Like I said before, it was $1,200 and I'm gonna put the screen recording right up here. Let's reserve ours. So there's a couple buttons. There's this one and there's this one. Which one to click? Okay. Full name. Hello. How many do I want to reserve? Just one. Okay. So they have a few different options here and you have to choose one. So you can reserve for free. You'll be at the end of the line, but are welcome to upgrade anytime and they are going to keep you updated on their progress. Just says it all right here. Second option is a $200 deposit. You add your name to the wait list and then they reach out to you to discuss next steps. Next uh, option is a $1,200 deposit. You get early access to a casita. 
and you get a $1,000 discount. And the final option is to pay early. Uh, it's almost a $50,000, it's 49,500. It says, love Boxable and believe it's the future. Pay up front, be part of our early deployment program and get a lifetime warranty. Well, I do not have $50,000. So we are gonna choose the third option, 1,200. That's a big purchase. Okay. Okay, this part of the screen I am not gonna show you <laughs> because you don't need my <laughs> credit card information. We did it. We have purchased a Boxable. We just bought a Boxable. Big day, big day. They said, thank you, we received your payment. We will send a confirmation email shortly. They do ship internationally with shipping costs being between two and $10 a mile from Las Vegas, Nevada. Now let's go back to this insider article here. It says, Boxable has a wait list of 47,000 customers and over 2,000 customers have already put down a deposit. I just became a part of that population of people. So the wait list is just shy of 50,000 people, but in terms of the quantity of the homes, Boxable has already seen interest for more than 100,000 units. But all of these interested customers, like myself, are not getting the Boxables first. We are not necessarily top priority because according again to this article, Boxable already has a $10 million government contract for military housing, which will take precedence over the wait list. I'm going to include a link to their FAQ page on their website in case you guys wanted to see the answers to some of the most frequently asked questions, but you can also absolutely leave your questions in the comments down below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Now, another thing, whether or not you're going to be able to have a Boxable on your parcel of land really depends on your city's zoning rules and regulations. Put simply, zoning is just a term that describes land that is divided up into these sections called zones and each zone is labeled and has its own requirements attached to it. So it's different in every city, but if we're talking about Portland specifically, where my husband and I live, we are in an R7 zone. So that means that there can be one dwelling per 7,000 square feet. Now that's actually gonna be changing soon in our area because of something called the Residential Infill Project. If you live in the area you've probably heard about it so essentially what that's going to do is it's going to allow denser housing so if you could only build one dwelling per 7,000 square feet in an r7 zone now in an r7 zone you will be able to build one dwelling per 5,000 square feet of land this is all just to say that you need to check with your city specifically about what zone you're living in about the parcel of land that you want to put your boxable on so that they make sure to tell you that it's all good and approved and you are able to put the casita on that parcel of land and again if you have questions about that leave them all in the comments down below i mentioned earlier that boxable is elon musk approved and the reason i say that is because it's rumored that he actually lives in a casita himself. He tweeted in June that he lived in a $50,000 tiny unit that he rented from SpaceX in Boca Chica, Texas. I think of one of the richest men in the world who could be living in a multi-million dollar McMansion is excited and is living in a casita. It's all the more exciting for regular people, especially considering the fact that it is such an affordable monthly mortgage payment. So why even get such a tiny home in the first place? Well, I think obviously the primary reason that it's attracting so many people the fact that you know 50,000 people have already reserved their casita is the price I mean you can't even find rents like that anywhere in this country so I think of course that is the main attraction and again if you're living on your own or with one other person 375 square feet is pretty good it's pretty awesome and you guys you guys saw the pictures it looks honestly really nice in the future though when boxable provides bigger units and even stackable units you could probably even comfortably fit a family in there this is also a fantastic way to start investing in airbnbs if you purchase a boxable for the purpose of renting it out as an airbnb your initial investment cost is much lower than it probably would be if you were purchasing a single family home. And the return on investment can potentially be very, very significant, especially if your Boxable is located in a popular area like a major city or near the beach, near the mountains, near a river or a lake, just areas that people like to vacation. So I think Boxables, the casitas are a great way to start investing and renting out Airbnbs for a very low initial cost. When we get our very own Boxable, I am of course going to give you guys a tour of the inside. Hopefully that will be next year in 2022. I'm extremely excited. I can't wait to actually show it to you guys 
when we receive it. I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, but until then, leave all of your questions and your comments about this in the comments down below. I really want to continue the conversation. Let me know what you think about this whole thing. Is it a good idea? Are you excited about it? Or are there shortcomings that you are thinking of that maybe I'm not seeing? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate that you chose to spend your time with me today, truly. If you enjoyed this video, if you like this type of content and you want to support my channel, the best way that you can do that is of course subscribe if you haven't already and if you wouldn't mind leaving a like and a comment under this video again what that does is it pushes my video out it recommends it to other people it really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm so if you enjoy this type of content definitely consider doing that to support me if you want to see more from me and some more behind the scenes of my life as a real estate agent definitely follow me on Instagram which is at arena D and of course if you are looking to buy or sell a home in Oregon all of my contact information is in the description box down below I'd love to hear from you and help you achieve your home goals. Okay, you guys, thanks again for watching and I will see you next week for a brand new video. Bye. This is the future.